Okay, a filament bulb A is rated 240 volt and 100 watt. And another bulb B is rated 240 volt and 60 watt. Find the ratio of the resistances of the filaments at their normal working temperature. Okay, so for question A, uh, question A, we want to find the ratio of resistances. So we have two bulbs. Yeah, we have two bulbs, so we need to find uh, you know, uh, the ratio of resistances, yeah, as you can see here, uh, RA or RB. Yeah? So we have, um, yeah, we, we, knew, we need to find ratio of resistances, resistance, yeah. So we need to find RA and RB first, yeah. So, uh, okay, so we have two bulbs here, A and B. Um, Okay, we can um, put into two columns the information, okay, A and B, all right? So, um, so right here we have the power, no, the voltage, voltage for A, power for A, and this one is the voltage for B, and uh, power for B, okay? So uh, I think we can find resistance out of power and voltage by using the formula power equal to V squared over R. Yeah. So we know that uh, we okay. Actually, we knew that power is both uh, V I or I square R and V square over R. Uh, so since we want to find resistance, so we use a formula V square over R. Yeah. We because we have voltage also. Yeah. Okay, so we use this formula, V square over R, yeah? Okay, uh, gather the information. We have power area, uh, power A, uh, and then we have voltage A. Um, and then we have uh, power for bulb B, voltage for bulb B. Okay, so we can find resistance yeah, uh, using the formula power equal to V squared over R. So let's find it. yeah. So power, uh, okay, we use a formula power uh, equal power area, uh, power A, about A, equal to V squared over R. Uh, this one is A, A. Yeah? Uh, do the same also for B. Uh, so this is B, okay. Uh, all right. Put in the info value. Um, okay. So we what is the resistance A? So resistance A is a uh, five hundred and seventy six ohm. Okay. How about B? All right, so what about B? Okay, this is a 960 ohm. All right, so okay, we got the resistance ready, so we can find the ratio, All right? So resist ratio of uh, RA, RA over RB which is uh, 576 over 960. So it's uh, 3 over 5. Okay, 3 over 5, which is also 0 0.6. Okay, so that's the answer for question A. Okay, uh, 0 0.6, that's correct, yeah? 0 0.6. All right, now, uh, okay, question B, he says, each bulb is now connected to 120 volt supply, okay? Uh, what is red power dissipated from each bulb? All right, okay, now he say, uh, give, uh, want us to find the power dissipated from each bulb. Yeah, we need to find the power, okay? 
uh, connect because each bulb is connected to 140 120 volt this is the new voltage now okay what i can say is uh this one uh, uh what i want to say is this uh this power is uh not constant yeah uh this power and the voltage here they are not constant okay what is actually constant is the resistance only ah uh, only the resistance of the bulb is constant all right uh, this one is the re only only the resistance is constant for each bulb okay only resistance is constant for each bulb so now the voltage has changed the power also changed so that's why i can say power and voltage they are this value can change yeah this power actually depends on the voltage apply you see that how much is the power actually this power is dependent on the voltage ah uh, okay the power the power value the power value or power dissipated from the bulb is dependent on the voltage applied uh, so if the voltage applied is uh, 240 volt then the power dissipated is 60 watt uh, so the power actually depends on voltage so if the voltage changes voltage value changes the power value also changes understand so right now the new voltage is 120 volt it's no longer the 240 volt uh, yeah so the power dissipated will be different already uh, last time the voltage applied is 240 volt so the power dissipated is 60 watt okay last time the voltage applied the power the, the voltage supply is 240 volt so the power dissipated is 60 watt right now the new voltage uh, this is the the new voltage apply the new voltage apply is 120 volt so the power dissipated actually will be less yeah less than 60 watt uh, also for power a the power dissipated will be less than 100 watt also yeah because now the voltage is less so the power will be less also so you will have a new power yeah uh, so this one you is a uh, is the power dissipated is a new power okay because this power depend on the voltage apply okay different voltage apply different power dissipated from each bulb okay so only one thing is consistent only one thing is constant that is the resistance of the bulb the resistance never change uh, so you can use back the value of resistance you can use back the value of resistance but you cannot use back the value of power and voltage okay because this power and voltage can change value only the resistance value is always constant uh, no matter what of voltage apply no matter what voltage apply become 120 volt the resistance of the bulb is always constant so you can use back this value never use back the value of this uh, 240 volt and 60 watt understand okay so for question b we use back the resistance value which is constant uh, all the time uh, okay let's calculate yeah uh, let's calculate so question b so let's find out now the voltage the new voltage is uh, 120 volt so also use formula b squared over r okay we do for a first okay so this is the new new voltage new power uh, the new voltage is 120 volt resistance is still constant resistance is still constant uh, okay all right let's do it yeah so let's calculate uh, 120 square uh, divide by 576 so we got 25 watt for, for bulb a and how about bulb b use also the same formula v squared over r uh, okay so it is uh, 120 volt square divide by uh, the resistance is 960 uh okay 
So it is 51. 15 watt. Ah, okay. 15 watt. So you see, uh, the new power is less already, less than 60. Uh, also, the power A, also 25 less than 100. See that? Because now the new voltage is less. 120 compared to last time. 240. Uh, yeah. So that's the answer. So it is uh, 25 watt and 15 watt. 25 watt and 15 watt. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, that's all. Bye.